So I've just put some hay out for the first time for the cows, for our little steers. And one is being brave and come over to check it out. And just sat down by the fence and he got a little bit scared and ran off. I'm sorry, the wind noise is gonna be terrible here. Still having trouble with my microphones. But look at that beautiful cloud formation in the background. Oh, the others have come over. They're a little bit more scaredy cat. Oh, here they come. So I'm laying down on the ground. They're looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> I thought this would be a good angle. And you can hear this one munching away. Come on, boys. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, here comes one. It's going to come in for a little nibble. Oh, gorgeous. It's okay. It's okay. Got to get used to the camera. The third one's gone around the other side. To hide behind the brave one. And we've got number four. Try to go nice and slow. There's the fourth one. He's hanging right back. So there's one that's a bit of a lone wolf. I think that might be the one. He's always off on his own. Here comes the fourth one. Is he going to come in? Oh, he's making his move. He's probably going to come right round the other side there, I reckon, and hide behind the others. Oh, he's down the back. He's not coming in yet. and see his little face. Come on. Come on, skitty cat. Skitty cow. Oh, there he is. <laughs> see his ears behind the other one. He really wants some hay. He's like, what is everyone that took it into? Come on. Come get some. Here comes his little face. <laughs> there he is. Oh, safety in numbers. Thank now, to get back to what I was supposed to be doing, which was feeding the horses. And I got sidetracked, which is not unusual for me. Um, I'll just grab them some carrots. The carrots have gone a bit manky. They were left outside before I'd put them in the fridge. So I'll just come into the messy shed. I had already made up their feed, so... Bella was calling out before because she saw me come into the shed a while ago. And she's probably thinking, where is my food? It's supposed to be breakfast, but it's more like brunch. Here they come. Wandering over for their breakfast. Here we go. There's Comey's. Here comes Bella. She will come and push him out of the way. Oh, and you did it quite nicely. You weren't rude about it at all. Oh, good girl, belly boot. I'll just move his bucket. Oh, did he? Oh, no, you got your carrot. I can hear you munching. There you go, bugger lugs. They enjoy being out here on the grass. Hey, Missy. Or oh, the flies. Just take her rug off. Can't believe it's December. Well, actually this vlog will go out early January, but we are pretty much at the last day of December. And um, yeah, I'm still rugging. It's just crazy. I mean, it's not freezing, but yeah, it's a little bit chilly and she's starting to lose her summer coat, which is making me a bit sad because I love it when they have their summer coat. Belle, you have to lift your head for a sec because I can't undo your strap, darling. Good girl. Thank you. Pull that off. I'm going to take that one back over to her shelter so it's ready to go back on tonight. Look how shiny she is. 
forward. Now here comes Bucket, our pet cow, and he doesn't need any encouragement. He is happy to come over for a treat. He's a very friendly chappy. But Bucket is here forever. He is definitely a fairy friend and we are well and truly attached to this one. Aren't we, mate? So he's a lot of fun. He comes when you call him. He comes running. He loves his treats. He hasn't had any treats for a little while. Hey, you loving this, buddy? Very nice. <laughs> is that nice? So I'm just heading over the paddock to where the rams are, where our boys are. Yes, we've still got them. Um, and Benny has just spotted me. Ben loves a carrot. Again, another um, hand-raised animal on the farm. But Benny came to us, he was quite young. Here he comes, I'll just flip you around. Here he comes. Come on, Ben. Come on, buddy. Isn't he gorgeous? He's so lovely. Hello. Woo, woo. He's going to go through the fence. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hang on. Oh, sorry, guys. That was a bit chaotic. Let me pop it in the paddock for you. I thought he was going to climb through the fence. Here. Can you hear him grumbling? Let me zoom you out. Hang on. Come on. Hop your head back through. It's very keen. You're a very keen bean. You haven't even finished what's in your mouth. Yeah. Come on, back through. Go back through the fence. Come on. Dad would not be happy with this. No. Here you go. It's down on the ground. Come on. Back you go. That's it. Well done. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> that was our very exuberant Ben. I can go in and pat him and he doesn't um, headbutt me. He's very, very, very gentle. Apart from then, <laughs> when he tried to climb through the fence, but that's because he knew I had a carrot. Um, yeah, so this is Ben, our gorgeous ram. And a bit of an update on the boys. So there's the other boys in the background. So our old ram um, that Andrew named Ruta, he's out there as well. But the younger ones, we will, we will eventually sell them. Um, the price has just dropped out of the market. He's still struggling. I should have cut them up. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, but yeah, update on the sheep is that, and for all you vegetarians, block your ears, but um, we had one of our young lambs, what I call processed, and uh, yeah, whilst we were eating uh, one of the chops, we both looked at each other and it was, you know, it was just divine and we thought, oh, we will probably, um, yeah, I think we decided then, well, I decided then that we should maybe keep ha half a dozen ewes and keep the two boys and um, and just breed for our own, for our family and friends and for ourselves. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. And win-win because we get to keep the boys, um, which I love. I love my boys. And I was really worried about what was going to happen to them and where they were going to end up. So they'll just stay here now. And uh, yeah, we've just got to sort out with the ewes. That's going to be the difficult um, decision is which ones we're going to keep and which ones are going to go. But we'll keep that for another day. Why, why worry about things today when you can worry about them tomorrow? <laughs> so I hope you have enjoyed this little farmy vlog and um, chilling out with the cows and meeting the other animals. I'm trying to get Benny in shot there. Um, Anyway, I'll sign off now, so stay well, stay safe, and um, yeah, enjoy the little moments in life. Bye for now.